Between January and February 2016, members of the International Board and coordinators of the Global Embassy of Activists for Peace traveled to Israel to enrich their knowledge on issues related to the history of the Holocaust and in this way implement new tools that will allow us to continue to advance in teaching this historical fact as a paradigm of genocide in schools, colleges, and universities in Latin America. This was achieved thanks to contact with the World Holocaust Remembrance Center, Jad Vashem, and the Ghetto Fighters House Museum, who had expert historians and researchers available to discuss new perspectives for the teaching of the Holocaust. The trainings included tours guided by the new historical museum of Jad Vashem, and board members of the Global Embassy of Activists for Peace were welcomed by the main executives of the institution. After the training in Yad Vashem was complete, the embassy's board members moved to Western Galilee overlooking the Mediterranean, just a few kilometers from the Lebanese border, home to the Beit Lohamei Haget Taot Ghetto Fighters House. It is the only Holocaust Memorial Museum in the world that was founded by Holocaust survivors in 1949. The Ghetto Fighters House illustrates the vision of its founders who left behind the suffering and horrors of the Holocaust and created a prosperous kibbutz, Lahamei Hagetaut Kibbutz and Ghetto Fighters Kibbutz. Next to the museum is the Center for Humanistic Education, whose aim is to instill knowledge and understanding of Holocaust events through dialogue and common learning. The center is committed to establishing multicultural meetings in which intensive discussions are held on the human and universal significance of the Holocaust. During the three days, training was received under different themes related to the events that happened to the Jewish people during the Nazi regime. Survivor stories of heroism, persistence, and hope before the adversities experienced in the Holocaust were the basis for transmitting, in addition to historical knowledge, important values in each of the participants to continue working on the teaching of the Holocaust as a mechanism to promote the defense of human rights. In this way, GEAP continues to work with the objective of implementing from the ministries of education in each Latin American country, the teaching of the Holocaust at the school level and as a transverse chair in universities as a tool that allows students to take action against human rights violations and future genocide.